All right, guys, this is the moment I've been waiting for. It's uh, my first personal HDS Pro from Lorentz. I'm going to be doing a quick little unboxing today just to kind of uh, show you guys what comes in the box. Um, I'm going to be installing this on my boat this week, hopefully to get out. Uh, I think one of the first trips I'll be making is a trip to the Detroit River. Uh, super excited to see uh, the changes and the new features. Um, we'll keep you in the loop as what I find and what works for the style of fishing that I do. Anyways, let's get started. So, as you can see, this is the new HDS Pro 12-inch multi-touch display. I've ordered it with the Active Imaging HD 3-in-1 transducer. It comes included with this one. So that's an option when you order and purchase. So, these are new boxes. Since the lives, similar to the FS's that we've been getting the last couple of years. Um, pretty excited about the way that they're boxing stuff nowadays. It's all recyclable. Obviously, your silicone pad. Just to make sure, here is what I've been looking for. This is the new Active Imaging HD transducer. So. Let's just take a look at this one real quick here. Alright, so as you notice, it's quite a bit different than the original active imaging two that I had previously on the boat. So um, I have been working with uh, Ryan from Rytech Marine. He is in developmental stages of making me a flush mount to go underneath the step of my Ranger Hall. So that's something that I'm super excited to get my hands on. As soon as it's ready, I'll give you guys a full update and probably an installation video on how we're going to install it on my Ranger 621. So there you have it. There's the new style, quite a bit different in shape. Obviously with the wire coming out of the top, we can't flush mount it like we did the last one, but we have some options available for us real soon. So we'll just set that aside. There's your manual for that, all your hardware. Um, because I have a HDS 12 Live already installed on my dash, um, I won't be using any of this hardware myself. Um, I'll just save that power plug for another install that I may be doing later with a, another boat that I'm working on. So put that hardware aside. It does come with a bracket just like it did with the Lives. Um, and yes, you can use that to mount it to your boat if you wish. Um, I just choose to uh, mount mine flush underneath the step because I only use it when idling, you know, under three or four mile an hour. There's your 12 inch gimbal. Very excited to see that it's aluminum. Okay, that's always a bonus. And also inside this box is... This is great. All the new bags are water soluble, so obviously don't get your box wet, but um, biodegradable. This helps make sure that we're doing our part to save the environment. So, let's get some of this hardware. Here we have it. My first HDS Pro. Okay. Right away, the only noticeable physical differences is. The HDS 12 is in blue and the waypoint button is blue as well. So that's the one way that we're going to be able to tell in the future if you are holding a live or a pro in your hand. Okay, so it seems like every time they make a change, there's some subtle changes that we can help identify the models as they come out. So there you have it, guys. There's our unboxing of our new HDS 12 Pro. And I'll, uh, I'll get it hooked up on the dashboard here and fire it up and see how it looks.